the shading looks a lot better in life than what it does through the camera so i'll make sure to show you a completed version um of this i'll take a photo of it the 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 pictures just look slightly different on camera which is unfortunate Okay, I'm going to go back to that light brown pencil and you have to excuse me, I've dropped it. Okay, so we've got the light brown pencil and we're going to go over everything. All the brown areas that are light brown and these darker red areas as well. I'm using more pressure and I'm actually using the pointy part of the pencil. This is, I'm hoping, to be the final layer of this shade of brown. So I'm really trying to cover the area really well. I'll go back in on different layers in different sections just to make sure we have those contrasts. Alrighty, so let's get on with the body. I've still got my mid-tone here, so I'll go over that one more time before I go over, over the entire area with that light brown. Okay, I go back to my light brown and we start filling in this light brown area. I'm also going over those ready brown areas with this light brown color. Alrighty, 
So now I'll go over to the body area. I've done the legs. Now I'll go back over those mid-tone areas again, which is that ready brown, like this. Okay, let's get on to the other colours because he's looking a teeny tiny bit bland. So next we're going to do the bottom part of the frill. I'm going to just test these two oranges to decide which one I want to use. And then I'll test the reds. Okay. So I'm going to use the lightest color orange. <sighs> And I'm just going to color in all of the base of this frill. Okay, next I'm also going to do the top part of the inside of his mouth. I'm going to grab the next shade of orange and just use the top part like this. It's turning out a lot redder than I thought it would, but that's okay. These things happen. Alrighty, so now when we're going into these frills, I'm just going to make them little scoopy areas like this. And then I'm going to grab my dark red. which has turned out to be more of a pink. So we don't have the same color combo as on the tutorial guide. These pencils are a little bit misleading, but that's fine, you'll still look good.
we might even oh refocus little camera there we go we might even be able to use an eraser to um get rid of some of that orange color hashtag devastated yeah so sometimes and i'm hoping it works on this tutorial but sometimes we can use an eraser to take back some color it's a bit too thick that one Let's see if my little one works Whew. I might grab a yellow pencil. Now I'm erring on the side of caution. Like that. Mm, so the problem with cheap pencils is they don't really sharpen very well. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm going to use a brown pencil. just to find these little frills and I'm actually just going to add in some more frills Ugh. talk about bad luck with pencils tonight golly ready And I'm adding little bumps as I do it. And I'm doing it in a flicking motion like so now I'll continue to do that on the frill the whole way round Okay, so next we're going to do the tongue, which is just a red colour. Like so. And then I will just grab this ready brown. I'm a bit too scared to even sharpen this pencil. I'll just do the outline of the, the tongue. Then I'll grab the light brown and just do his little lips like so alrighty now we just have a few bits of black detailing to do so we'll do the eye making sure to leave the highlight there like so 
and I'll outline that eye in black. Like so. Next, I'll start outlining things like where we had his mouth and his lips. And you don't have to do this. You can leave it, you know, how you had it. It's up to you. I think because he's so dark, he probably does need like a black outline. So I'm just doing all the big lines at the moment. Now, if you had a brown texture, he'd look pretty cool outlined in a brown, a brown texture as well. So that's also just food for thought. <laughs> Like so. Now you can do his claws whatever colour you like. I'm just doing the ends of his claws in black for a little bit of contrast. And I think he's looking pretty much done. I might just do some of those major lines of his frill, the major curve lines in black. Like so. And there we have it. A cute little um, frill neck lizard. One thing that's annoying me. I don't even know where this line came from. Oh well, it's there now. I think that's the end of his tail. I could probably just do that. Okay. So that is how we draw a frill neck lizard i hope you guys had a really good time drawing this i'm looking forward to seeing your finished um pictures on the the group page if you have any questions that's where you can ask me i'm a fiddler when it comes to drawing i just fiddle and fiddle um i'll be here for hours doing this i think it's my favorite part It'd be interesting to know what um, favourite part yours is when drawing. What do you like doing the most when it comes to drawing? Um, anyway, it's nearly an, been nearly an hour. It's been a pleasure. Have a lovely day or evening, whatever time you're accessing this. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next lesson.